Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and we are continuing the meal that we started last week where we showed you the bacon wrapped meatloaf, yeah. which I will link below so you can get a look at that recipe. And so we're on week two out of three of preparing this meal. Mm -hmm. uh, today we're going to be looking at garlic mashed potatoes. Because what goes better with meatloaf than mashed potatoes? Right. And garlic just makes everything better. Exactly. But before we get into that, I'm Stuart. This is Joelle. Hi. Welcome to our channel if this is your first time viewing us. And if you get a chance, check out all of our social medias, which will be right down here. Yep. So just take a look at those if you get a chance. Follow us. And thanks so much for your liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, we really appreciate the support that you uh, encourage us to keep up with this channel and to post new videos. Um, so with that, I think we can get into um, the ingredient list. Ingredient list. Um, this is from the Cook's Country uh, Test, America's Test Kitchen cookbook. Um, and we'll link a, put a link below so that you can check that out in the Amazon store and, and get an idea of that. Yep. Uh, so let's get right into the ingredients then. All right. Unlike last week, this is like a nice short list, so this should be quick and painless. Hopefully not painful. <laughs> and apparently in this test kitchen, we've really liked their potato recipes, so I will also link below the salt and vinegar potatoes that we made a few weeks ago, yeah. which were amazing. Super good. So, and then we reheated them in our air fryer like the next day. And they got all crispy. And they were still awesome. Yep. Yep. So, that's all right. fun. For this recipe, garlic mashed potatoes, you will need... Four pounds russet potatoes, peeled, quartered, and cut into half inch pieces. Potatoes! 12 tablespoons unsalted butter, cut into pieces. We have salted because that's how we roll. Yeah. 12 garlic cloves minced. That's a lot of garlic. One teaspoon sugar. I guess we didn't need that huge container of sugar. For one teaspoon, one and a half cups, half and half. Half a cup water and salt and pepper. We lost the salt. <laughs> there we go, and that's what you'll need for this recipe. So let's get started. To begin with, you wanna make sure that you peel your potatoes and then make sure that you cut them into about a quarter of an inch pieces, uh, making sure that they're all fairly the same size uh, just so that they cook evenly and they'll be ready to go. Then you just put them into a bowl or into a colander because you will have to rinse them eventually which uh, we'll get to in a moment you also want to make sure that you peel and then dice your garlic uh, it doesn't have to be super small pieces um, just enough to uh, cook down uh, evenly uh, once you add it to the pot then in a colander you want to rinse the potatoes under cold water until that runs clear and drain thoroughly to get all the starch out then melt your four tablespoons of butter in your dutch oven uh, and then once that's melted, add your garlic, and then you want to cook that for about three to four minutes until it's a sticky and straw-colored uh, texture and look. Then, once that's done, you add the rinsed potatoes to that. You want to add your water and your half and half, as well as some salt just for seasoning. Then you're going to bring that to a boil, reduce the heat to low to simmer, Cover it and stir occasionally until the potatoes are tender and most of the liquid absorbed. About 25 to 30 minutes, basically until the knife goes in easily. 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 Then off the heat, you want to add your remaining butter uh, and start mashing it as well as the rest of the heavy cream. Uh, and mash it to whatever desired texture you like. Then add the rest of the heavy cream and fold that in um, until it's done. And once you feel like it's mixed well enough, you're good to go. All right, so now it's time to give these potatoes a try. Yeah, I'm, I already took a little sneak peek <laughs> when I was... Um, I don't see how you can go wrong with... Cleaning off the... With uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Right. Uh, just a reminder, we do have three categories that we're rating this on. So mm -hmm. we're focusing on cost, we're focusing on taste, and how easy or hard it is to, to actually make the dish. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a taste. Super good. They did not get mashed enough for my liking. They're still chunks, but part of I that's think my fault. Fine. <laughs> uh, that being said, though, Let's they're good. Flavor. Uh, flavor wise. As um, I eat my third pork loin. I'm going to give them a three as far as flavor goes. So, right middle of the ground. I give them a four. I think they're delicious. Yeah. I love the garlic. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, but as far as that goes, it's not bad. Um, 
As far as the ease to cook, uh, once again, one is extremely difficult, five being easy to prepare. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give these a five. Me too. They're really easy. If, if you can make regular mashed potatoes, you can mm -hmm. make these. Right. Uh, yep. So they might even be easier because they literally cook in the butter and the mm -hmm. like the milk. Yeah. Yeah. So super easy. Super easy. Nothing really difficult. Yeah. You can buy garlic already chopped up mm -hmm. and you just scoop it into the pan. Yeah. Super yep. easy. And then as far as cost goes, um, five being simple, or extremely affordable, one being not worth the price. I'm gonna rate these as a five as well. Yep, the only thing that you might not have on hand is half and half, and that is right. not that expensive. Uh, you figure a bag of potatoes is like three or three bucks yep. or something. Um, so between that and, and mashed potatoes else. always feed a crowd. Right, so it is definitely gonna feed a lot of people. Yep. Um, yeah, so I think as far as cost goes, you're gonna be able to feed a group of people on pennies. Really. Yep. So, yep. yeah, but- For something uh, delicious too. Yeah, and it's garlic mashed potatoes, so they're, they're good. Um, all right, so that is gonna do it for us on this side as far as rating it and what we think about it. Yep, we still have one more video to go that will come out next week mm -hmm. with our last side. And it's one that I'm also hesitant about because it's asparagus and I'm not a huge fan. We'll see how it goes. But we'll definitely see how that goes. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Uh, we hope to catch you next time. So take care. Bye. Bye.